I started watching this interesting set of science videos. It's a set of 24 videos, 30 minutes each, and it's all about life sciences. One I watched, I kind of watched them out of order, but the one I watched started off talking about populations and natural equilibrium. They were talking about the idea of a bunch of rabbits living on a fixed piece of land with a fixed amount of food. And they were talking about this idea that there's an equation that maintains population sizes. And the equation is dependent upon the number of animals, the amount of food per animal, the birth rate, and the death rate. And this kind of equation will keep everything in equilibrium because if anything changes, if any one of the four variables change, every other variable will change to kind of keep the whole population in equilibrium. For example, if you have a certain amount of rabbits on a certain patch of grass and for some reason the population of the rabbits increase, then you'll have less food per rabbit. And as so long as that is okay to keep all the rabbits alive, that new population size will be in equilibrium. But a lot of times in nature, for whatever reason, these things kind of go out of balance and it takes a while to get back into balance. And this was one of the things that Malthus was worried about back before the Industrial Revolution. Malthus was a kind of a preacher, a scientist, well aware of this kind of four variable equilibrium system in any kind of population of animals. And he was watching the amount of people increase quickly, noticing that by simple mathematics, if you have a population size that is increasing exponentially, but the amount of land they could live on can only increase geometrically, eventually you'll get way too many people trying to live on a finite set of land and this will cause population collapse. This happened just before the Industrial Revolution and one of the things that happened because of the Industrial Revolution was there was a lot more people a lot more quickly. If you look at any graph of the population of Earth, it was going up fairly slowly and even though it was going up fairly slowly, this caused Malthus to worry that eventually it would get too big and there wouldn't be enough Earth to support the number of people. But then the Industrial Revolution came along and the population just exploded. It almost went straight up. But one of the things that people missed understand is they see that because the population went up dramatically after the Industrial Revolution, most people kind of assume this means that Malthus was wrong. But what they don't really understand is exactly why the population exploded. Humans found a way to get a lot more food out of the same patch of ground. If you look at rabbits and other animals that just feed off the grass, the grass has to grow naturally. And if the number of rabbits get bigger than the naturally growing grass can support, then of course they're going to collapse. But the one thing that humans learned to do because of the Industrial Revolution was get a lot more food out of the same patch of ground. But the main reason they were able to do this is because they were able to tap the locked up energy that was in fossil fuels. They started to burn coal, they started to burn oil, and this allowed them to do a lot more work. If you relook at Malthus's equation, the population size, the food per animal, the birth rate, and the death rate, and you change the food per animal to energy per animal, the exact same equation holds true. And this means we're just as much in danger now as Malthus predicted. It's just that the amount of energy energy per person has increased significantly. But another thing that is very, very interesting is that over the past billions of years of life on Earth, there's been five major extinctions where all the animals just suddenly died off, living within this closed system, competing for resources. Each one of those animal populations still has to follow those same four laws, the population size, the food per animal, the energy per animal, the death rate, and the birth rate. And so there's a lot of people that believe that right now, the amount of fossil fuels that is available to us is significantly starting to become harder to get. And if the amount, the actual raw amount of energy that we get out of the earth begins to significantly decrease, that means the populations of humans will decrease. And if there's one thing that's certain in the history of human life on earth is every time there's any kind of even fear of dwindling resources, this is the one thing that will guarantee conflict. I'm not going to suggest that this is happening today, but if you look around the world, if you look at the amount of oil they're taking out of the ground, if you look at the amount of people that are worried about environmental collapse, it seems to suggest that a lot of people actually believe that this is coming very soon. And the more you think about the fact that humans are absolutely, utterly dependent on a very biological dependency on a certain amount of energy per person, if you understand that the energy per person is going to decrease, that will cause a significant drop off in population size. Because we are accustomed to a certain amount of energy per person, this will make whoever is alive when this population finally starts to drop off, that will be 
a very horrific and cataclysmic time to be alive because if you think about it right now we have 8 billion people on planet earth but it could be that after the amount of fossil fuels available starts to decrease carrying capacity of earth might be around 1 billion or less and thinking about a transition from a population of 8 billion down to a population of 1 million that necessarily means there will be a lot of horrific conflict and fighting for resources but one of the things that always happens is there is always a reversion to the mean if you can imagine a stock slowly going up and the stock is carefully gradually bouncing around its moving average as it goes up and if the stock suddenly shoots straight up far away from its moving average for any reason it will eventually return to its moving average and if this ever happens on planet earth it will be a very very unpleasant time to be alive unfortunately for malthus and his theories everyone today thinks of him as being kind of a crackpot because he was preaching doom and gloom that the population was getting too big and we're going to have this die off soon but then the industrial revolution came and the population exploded and so everyone kind of believes that he's wrong but there's this idea in biology there's a lot of examples in biology where you have a population of animals and for whatever reason the population of animals suddenly increases that new population size is way too big to be supported by the environment and that new population size completely consumes all the available food in that environment all of a sudden there's no food left and that entire population just dies the guy in the video was pointing out that it's easy to think that we can control things because we are the apex predator that we can kind of control the environment but in reality if you step back and look at humans as just another animal there's really no reason to believe that we're going to be here for very